Hello everybody, it's Tyler here on a Tubular Tuesday morning. Welcome to RLA TV. And I'm Maria. We have a couple of important dates and announcements today, so please pay attention. Before we begin with the important bits, let's get weather out of the way. Hello everyone, I'm Brooke and welcome to the Daily Weather Announcement brought to you by the RL Media team. Tomorrow's weather will be a high of 46 degrees with a low of 28. It will fill between 39 and 16 degrees. Winds will be between 11 and 17 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. This has been your Daily Weather Update. Now let's hand it back to our host. Thank you for the weather update, Brooke. Now, as for those dates we mentioned, the following colleges slash universities will be visiting our school in March and April. Make sure to sign up in Naviance to attend and learn more. Thaddeus Stevens College of Technology on March 2nd at 8.45 a.m., Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University on March 9th at 8.45 a.m., Washington and Jefferson College on March 14th at 1.40 p.m., Binghamton University at March 17th at 12 p.m., Commonwealth University on March 24th at 12 p.m., Alvernia University on April 3rd at 10.15 a.m., Harrisburg University of Science and Technology on April 4th at 9.30 a.m., and finally, Shippensburg University on April 13th at 12.15 p.m. Speaking of college, make sure to check out the scholarships loaded on Naviance. Take a look at the Red Lion Area Education Association Scholarship. There are four scholarships available, sponsored by the Red Lion Teachers Union. Applications need to be submitted on Naviance by April 20th. Apply soon because this year is almost over. For the first year letter winners from the fall slash winter sports seasons who want to participate on Silent Dress Up Day, it will be held on March 16th. Please stop by the athletic department as there will be a sign up sheet and slips of papers that will explain the requirements for Silent Dress Up Day. Once again, Silent Dress Up Day will be held on March 16th and is for athletes who earned their first varsity letter. There will be an informational presentation for juniors interested in attending a post-secondary institute on Monday, March 13th during AP. The following topics will be covered during this meeting. Uh, graduation requirements, college churches, college visitations, admission testing, and application process. If you are interested at all in attending, please sign up using the Google Form link that was sent out to your email. Or stop by the counseling office and sign up with Mrs. Hill. The high school Color Guard staff is hosting winter clinics and they want you to come see what Color Guard is. Learn how to spin a flag, rifle, or saber, learn some dance routines, meet previous members of the Color Guard, and learn about this year's show, Animated, with music from The Incredibles, Frozen, The Nightmare Before Christmas, Sonic the Hedgehog, and The Lion King. Color Guard winter clinics will be held on Tuesday evenings from today, March 7th, through April 11th from 6 to 8 p.m. They will have six different clinic dates. They invite you to join as many as you can and, they, and bring a friend. They are recruiting students currently in 7th through 11th grade. Please wear sneakers and clothing that is easy to move in. Bring some water as well. They really are excited for new faces and hope to see you there. To all of you seniors, can you believe your high school graduation is mere months away? It's time to start thinking about commencement. We've got an exclusive announcement from Dr. Ayala in the English department. A great way for you to participate and have a lasting impact on your special day of graduation is to be a speaker. Graduation speaker auditions will be held on Thursday, March 30th in D217 at 3 p.m. If you're interested, please sign up in D217 and, be, and make sure to pick up an information sheet. You can't stop, if you can't stop by by D217 or if you have any questions, email Dr. Ayala. For those of you who didn't know, the 1000 Cranes project was going on throughout the last week. This project was performed in remembrance of our very own Carson Capick and in positive hopes for the future ahead of us. Mr. Tom, a graphic arts teacher here at Red Lion, hosted the project at our school. And partnering with Littlestown, our collective goal was to fold 1,000 cranes in total. Amazingly, Red Lion not only met their side of the goal, but doubled it, folding 1,114 cranes and counting. Littlestown is still counting their cranes, but we have high hopes for them as well. We all on the RLA TV team thank everyone who took the time out of their day to fold even a single crane, and especially to those of you who folded 10 or more very dearly for your support for Carson. I'm sure that the Carpic family, uh, Capic family appreciates the effort everyone took more than anything right now. Mr. Tom is still accepting cranes, so if you'd like to participate still, please feel free. That is all we have for today. Once again, we thank you all much for participating in the 1000 Cranes Project. Have a terrific Tuesday and stay safe, Red Lion.